St. Nicholas of Tolentine class. This day is really special and meaningful because today is our first ever meeting as a class. We will not allow anything, not even this pandemic, to stop us from giving you a grand welcome in this academic year. Let us start our day with a prayer to be followed by the singing of our Philippine National Anthem and the recitation of Panatang Makabayan, Augustinian Pledge, and CSA's Mission, Vision, and Trust. Let us begin with a prayer. Let us mark ourselves with a sign of our salvation. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us sing our opening song. Loving Father, we praise you and give you glory. Thank you for calling us to be your holy people and for guiding us through your love and mercy. Forgive us for the times we have put ourselves first before looking at the needs of our neighbors. May the God of endurance and encouragement grant us to live in such harmony with one another in accord with Jesus Christ. Give us grace to imitate you and use our gifts and talents to please you every day. Lord, help us to be one, one Augustinians with one mind, heart, spirit, and mission in this new normal of the education system. We pray that you guide us throughout the whole school year. Bless all of us to have the strength as we continue our journey in the next coming days. Through your Holy Spirit, guide us as we grow in faith and love, and give us the courage to be more like your Son. Christ, our Lord. Amen. 
Saint Monica, Saint Augustine, our Mother of Good Counsel, Lord, you have made us for yourself. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Let us also pray the Oratio Imparata. God, our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that has claimed lives and affected many. We pray for your grace for the people tasked with studying the nature and cause of this virus and its disease and of stemming the tide of its transmission. Guide the hands and minds of medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion and of those governments and private agencies that must find cure and solution to this pandemic. We pray for those afflicted May they be restored to health soon. Grant us the grace to work for the good of all and to help those in need. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Mother Mary, help of all Christians, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. Saint Roch, pray for us. Saint Sebastian, pray for us. Saint Blaise, pray for us. Saint Giuseppe Moscati, pray for us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, now and ever shall be world without end. Amen. Anatang makabayan, iniibig ko ang Pilipinas, aking lupang sinilangan, tahanan ng aking lahi. Kinukupkop ako at tinutulungan, maging malakas, masipag at marangal. Dahil mahal ko ang Pilipinas, diringgin ko ang payo ng aking magulang. Susundin ko ang tuntunin ng paaralan. Uto pa rin ko ang tungkulin ng mamamayang makabayan, naglilingkod, nag-aaral at nagdarasan ng buong katapatan. Iaalay ko ang aking buhay, pangarap, pagsisikap sa bansang Pilipinas. Agustinian Pledge I am an Agustinian, proud to follow in the footsteps of the great Saint Augustine. I will try my best to be always simple, honest and sincere, clean in thought, word, and deed, forever truthful, friendly, thoughtful, and compassionate. I shall strive at all times to search for truth, promote friendship and understanding, work for the common good in general, and for the welfare of the needy in particular. This I pledge to do with the grace of God and the intercession of our Mother of Consolation, and our Father, St. Augustine. Amen.
Please recite with all your heart our school's mission, vision, and thrust. CSA mission. Colegio San Agustin is committed to the cause of the kingdom, the salvific mission of the church, by providing quality and relevant education to the youth through excellent curricular and co-curricular offerings, integration of faith and life, care for the environment, development of moral and social virtues, promotion of health and cultural programs, and fostering of civic and patriotic attitudes. All these are geared to the development of dynamic leadership and community life centered upon God. CSA Vision, a Christian community committed to the building up of the City of God through the formation of true Augustinian servant leaders. CSA Trust, we, a community of friends of one mind and heart, build bridges of acceptance, respect, and love through dialogue. Once again, good day parents, guardians, and my 6D pupils. Today, July 22, 2020, is our 6D's virtual meet and greet. I know that this is not the meet and greet that we look forward to, but I hope that through this, you may be able to know one another even by their names and faces. Most of you have been together for one academic year in grade 5 with your advisor, Ms. April Valiente. And I hope that you'll get to know more your new advisor here in grade 6. And that's me. Later on, we will play a simple game for you to know each other well. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, unexpected close Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, unexpected closure of a school year happened. This was decided to make sure that our fellow Augustinians are safe, and I pray that you are too. The normal life that we used to have will never be the same anymore. This is now the new normal, even in our education system. The system is suddenly and rapidly moving online. Look at what we are doing now, an online and virtual meet and greet. We may encounter challenges from this sudden switch to technological platforms, but if we work as one, we will surely succeed in this mode of education. Months have passed and another academic year is about to open next week. But allow me to officially welcome you all in the grade 6 family. From now on, you are one of my many anaks. Mga anak, remember that this is just the start of something bigger that you will experience as you are about to be called graduating batch. I promise to dedicate myself to be with your journey even online. Nothing can stop us to be one, one 6D family. Stop your worries. Just sit back and relax. Enjoy the rest of the school year with our 6D family. Get ready for a new journey. Thank you and God bless. Let me now introduce to you our school administrators and your grade 6 teachers. Hello Augustinians. A pleasant morning to you all and to the parents who probably are gracing this virtual level assembly with you there. Today, allow me to introduce to you the grade school department top and middle level administrators for academic year 2020-2021. To start off, the top level administrators, our rector and grade school principal, Father Dante M. Bendoy, OSA. The Assistant Principal for Academics, yours truly, Ms. Rowena B. Aita. The Assistant Principal for Administration, Ms. Maria Cecilia S. Daguno. Now, Let's proceed to the middle level administrators. This year's subject area coordinators are the following Ms. Gina F. Sporma, CLE coordinator. The English coordinator is Ms. Nancy E. Sanchez. 
The Filipino Coordinator is Ms. Marilyn G. Maceda. Ms. Ruby N. D. La Forteza is the Mathematics Coordinator. Mr. Rodolfo D. Amarillo is your Science Coordinator. Ms. Eleonore B. Buentipo, the Araling Panlipunan Coordinator. The coordinator for Art, Hele, ICT and Robotics, Dr. Heidi Racadio. And for Music, Physical Education and Health, Ms. Maria Luisa A. Lagasca. The Student Activities Coordinator, Ms. Roselle D. Baskugin. And Ms. Aleli J. Katipunan is the Department Campus Minister. And now, I proceed to the presentation of the Grade Level Head Teachers. The Grade 5 Head Teacher is Ms. Marisa L. Elardo. And for Grade 6, the Head Teacher is Ms. Jona Maria M. De Mesa. The Grade 3 Head Teacher is Ms. Lorena P. Ayongao. And for Grade 4, the Head Teacher is Ms. Maria Misty A. Ruste. The Grade 1 Head Teacher is Ms. Cheryl N. Bondo. And for Grade 2, the Head Teacher is Ms. Mary Grace C. Barai. I also would like to present to you the administrators or officials of the Student Services and Learning Resource Center. The first to mention is Father Geoffrey Iborda Jr. OSA, the Director of Student Services. Ms. Marisa Ocampo is a Guidance Center Coordinator. And the officer in charge of the LRC is none other than Ms. Maria Cristina M. Laracas. My dear Augustinians, those are the grade school department's top and middle level administrators. Let's accord them with a warm virtual applause. Thank you, and may the good Lord keep us all safe and healthy. Have a good day, everyone. Are you excited to meet your grade 6 teachers? It is my pride and honor to present your dynamic and loving grade 6 teachers. First is Mrs. Jeneline V. Napa. She'll be teaching Hele. Next is Ms. Marita H. Roquero for Araling Panlipunan or Social Studies. We also have Ms. Christine R. Bombane who will be teaching Araling Panlipunan. And for math, Mr. John Carlo Pasigay. We also have Mrs. Rodora D. Gabutina for English and Mrs. Maria Yulenia D. Enriquez for CLE. For Filipino, Mr. Kashmir Ives C. Mangilit and for Science, Ms. Fredeline Soria. For English, we have Mrs. Karina S. Fulhensho and for Filipino, Mrs. Pamela L. Lustado. We also have in the level Mrs. Ingrid S. Nicolas for English and Ms. Joanna Petogo for Science and Health. Also joining us in the level is Mr. Alvin Abranica for Computer and Robotics and Mr. Melchor King Esquilio for Math. Ms. Jonna Maria M. De Mesa will be your Araling Panlipunan teacher. 
while Mrs. Marie Farina T. Terzar will be your guidance counselor. We also have subject area coordinators who will be teaching in the level. First is Mrs. Gina Forsuelo for Christian Living and Mrs. Nancy E. Sanchez for English. Next is Mrs. Nereline G. Maceda for Filipino and Mrs. Ruby Ann D. Laperteza for Math. Also part of the level is Mr. Rodolfo D. Amarillo for Science and Ms. Maria Luisa A. Lagasca for PE. To our students, Welcome to the Grade 6 family! Now, do you know how to navigate the Google Classroom? I want you to prepare your writing materials to take note of some important details about this. Hello Augustinians! This is your Augustinian way to learn about the Google Classroom. This video will help you navigate your ways to understand easily how this platform works. Without further ado, let's begin! First, let me tell you a little something about Google Classroom. Google Classroom is a free web service that streamlines the process of sharing files between teachers and students. Wondering how to join a class? Your invitation to join a classroom will be automatically coming from your teachers. This invitation will be sent to you through an email. The email will include the email address of your teacher, the name of the class, and the tab that says Join. Simply click Join and that will automatically make you part of the class. If five of your subjects send you an invitation, make sure you join all five classes. The rule simply implies that there is one classroom per subject. If you have a total of 10 subjects, therefore, there should be a total of 10 classrooms. After joining all the invitations from your teachers, you may now access your Google Classroom. Go to the Google Apps bar that is located at the upper right corner next to the Google icon. Look for the classroom icon and click. Once you click, it will bring you inside the classroom where all your subjects are located. Once you enter a classroom, this is what you will see. Let us start from the upper left corner of the screen. We have the Google Classroom menu, name of the class, stream, classwork, people, Google Apps bar, and your profile icon. Let's run through all these tabs quickly. Google Classroom menu bar includes the following. We have classes, calendar, to do, and the setting. The stream basically functions as the feed. All class announcements will be posted on the stream, including the playlist. Playlist contains the set of instructions contact details of your teacher, and the time frame for the said cycle. From the word work, classwork contains all the possible activities for the students. There could be file attachments, assignments, videos, links, documents, quizzes, and other materials. Everything uploaded in classwork is one click away. People tab simply shows the members of your class, including your teachers. Let's take a closer look at the Google menu bar. Classes brings you back to home, where you can see all your other classes. Calendar shows sync schedule from your teacher. To do tab contains all the activities from the classwork that need to be submitted or turned in. This also states the due date of the activity. Lastly, setting includes your profile and the notification center. Having a closer look at the stream, this includes the class description. Upcoming tab, that is located at the left corner, contains the things you need to accomplish 
what you submitted, and what are you missing. This is a great help to monitor your classwork. The classwork. When you go to classwork, you will see all the topics at the left corner. All the activities and materials can be viewed at the middle portion of the classwork. The other icons that can be seen in classwork are the view work, calendar, and class drive. These are just the basic navigation skills you need to learn in the Google Classroom. The more you use the classroom, the more you learn about it. There are also a few Google apps that we would like to mention that are very helpful. Other applications that will be used by different subjects. All these applications will be thoroughly discussed by the specific subjects during their subject orientation. We advise you to explore them. This wraps up our simple Google Classroom orientation. Together, we soar high as we face the new normal. With CSA Hybrid, learning will continue. Let us now talk about digital citizenship. What is this? Digital citizenship is about confident and positive engagement with digital technologies. You are called the digital citizen if you have the knowledge and skills to effectively use digital technologies to communicate with others, participate in society, and create and consume digital content. So if you're a digital citizen, let us now know the do's and don'ts in the digital world. What are the do's and don'ts in the digital citizenship? First, be respectful at all times. As the golden rule states, treat others the way you'd like to be treated. Also, be respectful and considerate to your classmates. Observe positive and encouraging words when sharing, commenting, and posting. Share your thoughts politely. Next, always be a good listener. As much as you would want others to listen to you, be a good listener first. Be responsive to others when communicating online. Show respect to the speaker by lending a listening ear. Wait for your turn to speak and talk about the topic only and avoid discussing something unrelated to the classroom task. Be mindful of the Copyright and Data Privacy Act of 2012. Students, please refrain from taking screenshots during opening exercise, homeroom, and consultation period. Posting of any sort in social media is highly discouraged unless you post only your own picture or work. Parents, no recording of the sessions during opening exercise, homeroom, and consultation. Please take note of that. Next, set up a conducive learning space. Ensure that your room is conducive to learning. Choose a bright and open space that can inspire and encourage you to accomplish what you need. Choose a quiet place to work without distractions from things like family, friends, television, and computer games. It is recommended that you set up a clear background behind you. Learning materials should be available within reach. During opening exercises, homeroom, and consultation time, check if the audio or microphone works. You may use headphones to make sure you can hear everyone. You may also plug in your computer and make sure it is charged ahead of time. Next one. Don't forget to speak up. During opening exercise, homeroom, and consultation periods, engage yourself and participate actively. Share your opinions and thoughts in the chat box first. Then request permission to unmute if you would like to speak up your mind. Be mindful as well. In everything that you do and say, always be reminded that you are an Agustinian. You are hashtag proud to be Agustinian. You are responsible in every click that you make. Hashtag think before you click. Do not comment on or forward unsupported information. 
try to post or chat something that adds value to the conversation. Before sharing your own thoughts, read previous comments or chat. Stay on the topic. Whatever you read, always verify. Do not repost, share, or screenshot. Avoid sharing fake news. Do not use foul language. Using demeaning, rude, harsh, and discouraging words in the chat room or in our Google Classroom is strictly prohibited. Class, don't think that you're doing it all alone. At times, remote learning lets you feel very isolated and lonely. It changes our feeling by collaborating with a classmate or to our groupmates. Eventually, your teacher will assign group works which will make you feel more connected to your classmates and friends. Don't think you are in it all alone. Connect with them in our online forum discussions. Don't get discouraged also. If you encounter difficulty in your laptop, computer, iPad, or tablet, you may seek help to an adult at home. If you encounter difficulties in navigating through the LMS and or understanding the task to do for the day, your teacher is just a message away. Your teachers will be available and be very happy to accommodate and help you. Remember, you can access the playlist at your most convenient time with Be patient and sail smoothly. And these are the do's and don'ts in the digital citizenship. Did you know that Kaleo San Agustin Makati goes hybrid at Adobe Sparks? Now, let's talk about Adobe Sparks. CSA goes hybrid at Adobe Sparks for materials of things that parents and students should know regarding the new system are downloaded here. The link will be sent in our chat and will be posted in our You may now go back to our Zoom meeting for more discussions about our class and about Grade 6 family.